I'm Teacher Mike, and today we are going to talk about pots and pans. What is a pot? What is a pan? What are some types of pots, and what are some types of pans? Let's start with the basic differences between pots and pans. This is a pan, and we know that it's a pan because it has one long handle like this, and the walls of the pan that go around the side are short. This is a pot. We know that this is a pot because it has one, two handles, and the walls, the sides, are much taller. So pots are usually better for large amounts of liquid. Pans are usually better for cooking solid food. So now let's take a look at some of the different types of pans that I have today. These two pans look pretty similar but actually, they are different. This is a sauté pan, and we know that it's a sauté pan because the sides or the walls go straight up and down, and they're a little bit taller. This is called a frying pan, or a fry pan, and we know this because the sides or the walls are a bit shorter, and they're slanted. They're not straight up and down. They're like this. Also, some people call this a skillet. But to me, this is a skillet. To me, a skillet is always made from this black material, which is called cast iron. So if we want to be really specific, this is a cast iron skillet. However, many people would also call this a cast iron frying pan. Most of the time, it doesn't matter which word you use frying pan, or skillet. Because these two things are basically the same. Some people call them both frying pans, some people call them both skillets. For me, I call this one a frying pan and this one a skillet because it's cast iron. And this is called a saucepan. And a saucepan really is a pot because it's for liquids and it has taller sides. However, we call it a saucepan. Here we have a stock pot and a sauce pot. They look pretty similar, but the stock pot is a bit taller. The sauce pot is a bit shorter. The sauce pot is also a bit wider, whereas the stock pot is a bit narrower. Also, the base or the bottom of the sauce pot is much thicker or heavier. This thing that is usually used for stir fries is called a wok. This is really heavy, and this is called a Dutch oven or a French oven. The main material that this is made from is cast iron, which again is black, but you can't see that. This is blue because it is coated in a material called enamel. When we can't see the cast iron, because it is coated in enamel, that is a French oven. When you can see the cast iron, that is a Dutch oven. But you can call this a Dutch oven or a French oven, it really doesn't matter. And finally, this thing is called a pressure cooker. So yeah, those are some types of pots and pans. I hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.